Hello, hello, hello. Hey. So welcome to the 30-day Periscope Challenge, day 28. This was actually supposed to end in, in October, but I obviously missed a few days because you know what? Life gets in the way. And sometimes I was just taking time off. What you're looking at is something that is going on right now over at the Freedom Plan dot rocks and it's kind of an ironic story really because I'm in the middle of launching this wonderful free video series to help you create your profitable online freedom business and at the same time I'm celebrating five years in business myself so this is where it's all coming from I'm giving back by having created this video series to teach you how to create your own freedom lifestyle business and the ironic thing about this is right in the middle of this this launch of this free video series uh, which, as I said, you can go to thefreedomplan.rocks to check it out and share it with your friends. I, um, I've been like in my own funk. It's so, so weird. Uh, it's five years for me in business. I've always been super passionate about what I do and who I serve. And yet in the last couple of days, I've had um, one of my sites hacked, actually nataliesisson.com, which I, I don't currently use, but I have as a holding site, a couple of my membership sites, uh, which wasn't fun. I've had issues with my contractors who have all been amazing up until now but all let me down and uh, it's just so weird and I wanted to share this with you as a personal story because this is part of what being an entrepreneur is thank you for the love and the hearts and I'd love to know if you experience this as well it's not all um, unicorns and roses as my friend Nick Loper from Side Hustle Nation said this morning and he, uh, we were emailing back and forth and I said, you know, thanks so much for supporting my free video series and emailing out about it to your community. He sent me the email that he sent. It was really awesome. And I said, but do you ever have those ups and downs where just, I don't know, everything's not quite going to plan and you just feel like, honestly, sometimes as an entrepreneur, you just feel like giving up, right? It's, you can't get over it. And then the next day you're a hundred percent on fire again. And I remember when I started, um, yeah, I've got it on the side because it's much better for playback on YouTube videos. And we need to do is just shift your phone 90 degrees to the right so you can see me. It looks way better. Uh, and I can still read comments from the side. So thank you, guys. Yeah, so even when I remember being co-founding a tech startup, we used to be on such a roller coaster ride. We'd have days where we felt we'd finally created this amazing app and it was all going really well. And then we'd have other days where we were like, we can't get investors on board. Things aren't going right. It's buggy. Our beta testers are just not loving it. Everything's going wrong. And sometimes these highs and lows of what I call the entrepreneurial roller coaster would happen several times in one day. That's how nuts it was. We're drinking coffee. We were like, it was like almost being manic depressant. And in my own business, it's obviously not like that because I'm in full control of, you know, how much I put in and what I get out of it. Um, hi, Nadine. Lovely to see you. Um, but it, you still can't help but get over having those days, and we all have them. And I just wanted to let you guys know that, that sometimes you just get in a funk and you have to deal with it and you have to push through it. And we've talked about motivation on this 30-day Periscope Challenge. Um, I'm Natalie Sisson of The Suitcase Entrepreneur. If you haven't been following, this is day 28 of that challenge where I've been talking about all sorts of things, creating new revenue streams for you. Hi, Nadine. <laughs> uh, what motivates you? How to be more productive? Uh, travel tips, lifestyle tips, um, reaching out to influencers, getting the right press. We've covered off on so many awesome topics. And this one, I think, is probably one of the ones that doesn't get talked about enough. There are successful people out there who are still having funks to this very day and not having a great time with their business. So just know that you're real and you're human. And one thing happened this morning is I had somebody sign up for my free video series at thefreedomplan.rocks. Please go and check it out. It's awesome. It's shot on location in Bali and Melbourne. And she replied to me and she said, oh, Natalie, I can't access the other two videos. And I was like, that's because I don't go live until the 4th and the 7th of November. And then I wrote back to what I thought was my assistant and said, hey, can we put dates on them just saying coming soon? Or, And I wrote back to this lady instead and I realized what I'd done. I was like, I'm so sorry. I apologize. She's like, oh, no, it's great. It shows that you're human. And I was just like, wow, do people not think I'm human sometimes or do they just think that everything's going really well and everything's peachy. So that is not the case. Most of the time, life's, life is peachy and awesome, but it's not always unicorn and roses. And so I just wanted to read you out a little bit of this blog post from Nick Loper, my friend at Side Hustle Nation. So shout out to Nick. If you want to share this Periscope, by the way, you can just swipe right and please share it with your own followers. Get more people along to learn about this important message. 
Thank you for the love and hearts. By the way, these are not my family behind me. This is the, uh, I'm house sitting and dog sitting right now, and this is their lovely family. So uh, I don't have my apartment yet, and I certainly don't have photos, and I'm looking forward to, to having my own up. Anyway, he said here that, because he was, you know, going through the same thing. Ah, he said, okay, what is it? I just want to read out this bit. Only one destination is certain, and it's universal across all ages, races, and nationalities. It's that pesky issue, not to get too morbid here. All our journeys have a 100% mortality rate. So he was talking about being on a journey. And he said, what does this have to do with entrepreneurship and side hustling? A lot. This isn't a call to stop and smell the roses, which, by the way, I do a lot. But it is a reminder that no matter where you are today, in terms of your business, you're on the path. You're making progress moving forward. Even the people who've supposedly arrived don't see it that way. So you shouldn't either. If you're a long-time listener of the Entrepreneur on Fire podcast, you might recall that John used to ask his guests if they had an I've made it moment. But he stopped asking because it, every answer was almost the same, which is kind of not really. I've had some success, but I still have work to do. Now, this is what Nick says. I'm all for setting goals. After all, if you don't know where you're going, how you know you're going to get there. But I'm coming to see them more as milestones rather than endpoints because the journey doesn't stop there. It goes on and on and on. And here's the best part. Since the journey is the destination, you get to choose your own adventure every day and embrace it as a destination on its own. And I'm always talking about choose your own adventure, right? It used to be one of my favorite book series. I don't know if you, can you guys remember the choose your own adventure series? You, it's a, if you want Peter to go into the secret crib, turn to page 32. Or if you want Peter to, um, go into the kitchen and grab the secret box, turn to page, you know, 45. I used to love it. Um, but the point that Nick is trying to make here is that entrepreneurship and choosing your ideal lifestyle is a journey. It is not a destination. And every single day, that journey is going to take you on new adventures, some great, some not so great, some you're going to learn from massively and be inspired by, others you're just going to feel a little shitty throughout it. But as long as you know it's a journey and it's going to continue on and you're always going to be making progress, heading on different directions, then you need to embrace it, even on the days when it's not so great. So he said, reframed through that lens, challenges and barriers that stand in your way become little mini quests to conquer, which I love. It doesn't mean it's always going to be easy or fun. It's not, but it does allow you to be proactive and positive about the journey. And don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle, which is a quote from John Acuff. So I love this concept of being on a journey and constantly working towards what you want and knowing that sometimes it's just not going to be cool. Hey, Nicola from Dunedin here. Yay. Caught me live on my Periscope. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for all the love and hearts. You wonderful people sharing it. As I said, I've got to stop wobbling this. Hey, I'm Natalie Sisson from The Suitcase Entrepreneur. Um, this week, I'm in the middle of my own launch with an awesome free video series at the freedomplan.rocks. And I was just talking about when I got on here live about being in a funk today. Like even though there's all these good things going on, I've also had a bit of an odd run with um, hackers of my websites, contractors and things going wrong um, and just generally not feeling it, even though I'm right in the heart of this. So I want you to know that that's normal and that's human. And I'm happy to be honest and transparent about that because um, life isn't always peachy, but as we've talked about here, it is a journey and you get to choose your own adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've been loving the 30 day Periscope challenge. I have, and I'm going to be continuing on to Periscope. Um, and I would love your ideas for themes and topics that you'd love me to talk about. Otherwise I'm just going to let rip and take you on the inside scenes of what online entrepreneurship is all about and, um, living and working from anywhere. So thank you for joining. I will be back tomorrow. Same time, same bat channel for day 29 of the 30 day Periscope challenge. All of the previous challenges, by the way, are on youtube.com forward slash Natalie Sisson. So you can check them out there. Thank you for the love and hearts. You wonderful people. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Andy.